Hey guys, it's Avery from Video Blind, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to reset your computer without losing any files. Now this is mainly for Windows 10, although it does work on Windows 8. It's not going to be through the same methods, but the same options will still be on Windows 8. So you can still do this on Windows 8, but this tutorial is specifically for any version of Windows 10. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your start menu, and then you're going to click on the little settings icon here. If you're on an older version of Windows 10, the settings icon might show up um, down here somewhere, but on the newer versions, this is entirely your programs list. So you're going to click on the settings icon, and once this window pops up, we're going to go to the update and security tab. Again, this might look different depending on which update you're on, but there will still be an update and security tab. So we're going to click on that option, and then on the left side, it should look just like this, and we're going to press Recovery. You're going to get two options here. You have Reset This PC and Advanced Startup. Reset This PC is what we're looking for. This is the easiest way to do it. And the only thing I wouldn't recommend this for is if you have viruses on your computer. If you have viruses on your computer, I would recommend doing a full Windows uh, installation again. And I would copy over any files you want to keep so that you don't lose those. This option here will allow us to keep files that are currently on the computer, but it will still reset some settings and remove any programs you have installed. So we're going to press Get Started, and then it might ask you for an administrator approval, but this screen will pop up here, and it'll ask you if you want to keep your files or remove everything. Remove everything is still going to be a better idea if you have viruses on your computer, but I would almost always um, not do this and download a copy of Windows 10 onto a DVD or a flash drive and do a full installation. Um, that way that way you know everything is formatted. This will still keep some of your Windows files, um, but it does remove your personal files as well. So again, if you have viruses, do a full clean installation. But if you don't have viruses and you just want to reset your computer, get it running faster and everything, um, do this option. You can do keep my files, which will keep everything in your documents, videos, pictures, um, any of those main folders that Windows sets up for you in your user folder. So you're going to do keep my files, click on that, and it'll say this won't take long. It'll take a moment to get started. I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to do this to my computer right now. Um, but definitely if you've had a Windows 10 device for longer than like a year and a half or so, um, this might not be a bad idea it will help get your computer running a lot faster again. It'll get it back up to date and it will still keep all of your personal files. The only disadvantage is you're going to have to go and reinstall all of your, um, your, your big uh, software and everything like that in your games. Um, if you're like me and in your uh, computer you have multiple hard drives, um, it's really a smart idea to just keep your operating system on your main drive. That way, when you do the reset, it'll only uh, reset the operating system and you'll have all of your files and your programs and everything like that in your games on another hard drive. And those don't get wiped at all. It's just your, your primary hard drive where Windows 10 is installed. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions about this or any suggestions for a future video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.